in today's video, we have got every single FIFA and we're going to go and open a pack on each one. Tell me down below in the comments what is your favourite FIFA pack animation and also drop a subscription on the channel. We're so close to 300,000 subscribers. And yes, I'm an Xbox fanboy. I do sincerely apologise. 2014 World Cup Brazil, FIFA 14, FIFA 17, FIFA 10, FIFA 11, FIFA 16, FIFA... I, I, it keeps on going on, boys. The best FIFA of all time. Wait, no, I mean, the best FIFA of all time. Before we start, do you guys want some brand new football shirts, okay? The brand new season's away, ton of brand new kits. They are quite expensive. So I've teamed up with 365 Kit Shirt. Link is down below at the top of the description, of course. The shirt I'm wearing right now is from the website, and it's three times cheaper than what you would buy if you buy it normally. And it's good quality. I want to promote this stuff unless if I wear it day to day. Most of the shirts that I wear are replicas from this website. So the recent package from 365 Kit Shirt got a brand new Borussia Dortmund home shirt from this season. Let's go and give it a bit of a check up here. And I get a small because I'm quite a small man. And there you go. And look at that. I also like the fact that also it's got the little detailing inside of it as well. It's very good quality. Let's put it on. And there you go. Doesn't it look beautiful? Link is down below. 365kitshirts.com and use code VZH at checkout for 10% off to make it even cheaper for you. And trust me, it's worth it. So thank you, 365kitshirts, for sponsoring the video. And let's get straight into the video. Hope you enjoy. Now, if I asked you what was the first FIFA Ultimate Team, what would you say? You're wrong. Now, the thing is that you may not understand is that back in these days, there used to be a Champions League game that EA also made, which is absolutely insane. And they had a FIFA Ultimate Team mode back in 06. Now, people may think that it was back in 09, it was a DLC. And you're not wrong, but FT goes all the way back here. And look at these cards, man. You got morale and fitness on the card like that. And also, you got managers with also certain stats. You've got coaches with added shooting, less passing. You've also got physio and healing cards. You've also got gameplay cards as well. You had gameplay cards, and this is a pack animation right here, and this is as OG as they come, bro. Gameplay cards, shooting boosts, fitness boosts, more fitness boost cards. You got stadiums, you got a generic kit, which is just white and black. You cannot get any more generic. Then I go, what for badge for whatever reason? I don't, I don't know why that's in a, a Champions League game. Mallorca, Valencia, and even clubs that aren't even in the Champions League. So, for God knows reason, I don't know why Adam Johnson from Middlesbrough is in here, but that's quite concerning. So, of course, footage for 09 is literally so far back that it's hard to even find some actual footage of it as proper. And these are the same stats that he had back in the UCL game. We've got morale and fitness. Thorn, Higuain, and you can see also on top of his cards, you got like a boot, you've got a ball. Oh, and that's every single card. It's also the same gameplay kind of features that you had back in the other FIFA as well. Welcome to FIFA 10. Okay, this was literally the birthplace of FIFA Ultimate Team for a lot of people that I know. I remember watching my brother play FUT here, bro. This is the most like generic team, like Brazilian teams, man. You got Kaka in there with Pato, who's 87 overall. Lucio at the back, Danny Alves, a 91 rated Julio Cesar, bro. A 93 rated manager. You got ratings on managers. And this was as basic as you can genuinely get. And welcome to the pack store. You got yourself some free packs. Some free packs on FIFA. You're mad. Is the pack animation, which is. I think this pretty much stayed the same from FIFA 10 to FIFA 12. You know what, though? I'm happy that nowadays you don't really get these stat cards because back in these days, half of your pack was pretty much like fitnesses and the attribute cards and the formation cards. Back in these days, you also had formation cards as well. So certain players would have higher chemistry with a different formation. This was also the same amount of Microsoft points. So back in the day, there was no FIFA points. It was just Microsoft points. That was, you know, linked to the game or PSM points, whatever you had on PlayStation. Into the second pack here. And these are just normal 7.5k packs. They got Phil Walker on the front of it. And we have got ourselves... Four players in this one. Actually, no, I think it's just three. Yeah, it's just three, actually. Got a Ports, we've got Raul in here. And now it's time for FIFA 11. And of course, these FIFAs, if you haven't gathered, the servers aren't up on these games. So I can't go on to FUT anymore because the fact of the matter is, it, it shut. But there's still tons of videos online, of course. So here's FIFA 11. Pretty much the exact same, like the exact same animation as what you got back in FIFA 10. It's a bit more boring. The cards are quite similar. It, you open it normally where it's all kind of random and then you press a button, you just skip and then it actually goes in order. And back in these days as well, you had to individually go to each player to then send to Trade Pal. So, you know, nowadays you could just send, to, send all to club instantly and then send some to Trade Pal, some quick sell. Back in these days, it had to be each one by one, bro. Back in these days, man, opening packs was like a, an experience. You barely open packs back in these days because the only way to get packs is by 
Microsoft points or coins in a game. There's no reward system um, in any game mode, I'm pretty sure. And FIFA 12 looked pretty much the exact same, but I remember that there was such thing called Happy Hour. So Happy Hour was, I think, every single Wednesday when they dropped the brand new informs, Team of the Week, back in those days, that you would have an hour between 6 and 7 UK time that would have in, uh, they say it is, I don't know if it actually ever was true, but it was an increased chance of having an inform in the pack. Between 6 and 7, you would have an increased chance of packing good, a good player, apparently. FIFA 12 pack animation here, and it is pretty much the exact same, other than the fact that you don't have the initial, like, collection of them randomly. Instantly, it's now in order of players. Microsoft points as well. And each individual pack, you've got to go into this menu to then confirm your purchase to buy the card. I remember when I was younger that I, like, for like, my birthday, I got, like, £20 worth of Microsoft points. I went to my local Asda. I got the points to then go to my FIFA to then go and load it in. Back in the day, man, like, it was, like, a full-on, like, experience. Like, you got to decide hours beforehand, I want to go to the shop to go buy myself some Microsoft points to then go back home to then go load it up onto my account and then individually open up each pack with those points. Nowadays, you can blast through like £20 worth of like your know, of points in a span of like not even like five minutes. Like, that's probably being kind. But back in these days, it is like a half an hour experience, bro, because of how long each pack took to actually load up to go through each pack. Of Most of the pack is just full of, of fitness cards, attribute cards, fitness cards, courtship, it was very much a scam. Oh, FIFA 13. FIFA 13, bro. Why did they shut the service down? Why did they? Like, I would, I would do anything to go back to these menus, bro. It was a simple time. Look at these stats. I mean, 833 games here with just a normal gold caca. And that is like all you need for the entire FIFA, man. In this FIFA, they were a bit more um, heavy on the promo cards. It, they made a bit more of a um, yeah, an effort with that kind of stuff. This was the first time that you actually had FIFA points. So you can actually go and put like X amount of your 12K FP way, way beforehand. Let's go and see a pack here. So we've got FIFA points. So that makes it a lot faster. Instant flash and again, it's still the same pack. It's still the same pack animation that we've had for a long time. We got a Luis Muriel who he was a beast back in these days. They got a Barbel linking to a Quadrado linking to a, a Luis Muriel as well. And then that pack is done onto another 25k pack here with 350 FP and Song. So I think that's the Alex Song from Barcelona. Um, yes, 83 rated. Is that Alex Song? I think it is. Caceres, he was a good player back in these days as well, actually. There's something about this color scheme, the menus. There's something about this that is just beautiful to me. I don't know why. Maybe I think the contrast of the, the cards just stand out massively to me. It looks beautiful. Oh, man. On the new gen version of 14, which I just found it so cool that you could go on 14 on the Xbox One. Just the Xbox One, man. And it was like, wow, insane. Got a brand new color scheme and it looked like all brand new. It was just a different color. But I, I found it so cool. Obama Yang, man. Abate. I've never even seen Abate play a single game in the world, bro. But I know that he's the best right back I've ever seen. Now, this was the first year that they actually changed the animation. Now, there's a ball. So, there's a pack in the middle. And then, it's kind of, you know, slows down. There's a ball that spins. And then, there's a flash of the actual card. So... For the last four years, it's just been simply like a flash of like a name and it kind of just puts the pack all together at once as if you're all putting out the pack. Now it's like boom, flashing. I got Seydou Doombia here. And again, still back in these days to get a special card. It was like a big deal to inform. Wow, that's insane. Codrado and of course most of the packs is just full of fitness cards and like contracts and modifiers. A 5.8 million Gary Cahill. Yeah, that seems quite legit. And a bronze card for 5.2 million. Definitely no coin transferring here. And you thought that I wasn't going to go into the World Cup game mode, bro? Of course I'm going to go in World Cup game, and that's actually the best part of the entire game. Look at the nostalgia here, man. The nostalgia. Open up that ball, and we got a Brazilian... Julio Cesar, and this was like a massive like wow because like most of the pack was actually full of like non-stop players. Here we go on 15 on my account as well on my account, and we're gonna use some coins here to open up some packs here. So this was 
pretty much uh, a similar new, like, it's similar kind of to the 14 pack animation that, like, you, you had, like, a ball thing, but this time it's, like, a spinny wheel, and that it reveals the card slowly. I don't know why, bro, but, like, the the background of 15 just stays in my head rent-free. I love the the, the the theme of it. It just felt more like authentic football to me. But I do hate the non-rares. The non-rare the non -rare design is so ugly, bro. When it comes to, like, the glory era of pack animations, I would say 15 is probably high up there of, like, my favourite, I think. Then 13, then... Probably 14. Got a bender on 16 on my account now. Now, the glorious FIFA points. This animation was also, like, really hyped. I don't know why it was hyped. I actually don't know why. Let's go open up our first pack here with the FP. Got Burnley Turf Moor in back. And that's, like, a, such a cool thing. Like, I got my Osho Stadium. I've got here we go. Boom Striker. Karani. Karani, lad. Aguero at the front. Change the stadium because that gives me new look. And then, boom. Ah. Ah, uh, most of the rares you got back in these days were just, were, 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 was just like the contracts and like badges. Kalo Navas, A2 rated, that probably is seen as like a dub back in these days. Now for me personally, this is the best pack animation. The freeze when it's a walkout, the flare that pops out at you as well, the color of the flare, the size of the flare, then the flags come down like, bro, this was so much better. I like the suspense, I like the feeling that you know instantly oh my god it's going to be a walkout it's going to be someone good instantly you just get that freeze and it's like oh my god oh my god 7.5k pack here of course there's no freeze it's gonna be a dead card one it just means it's a rare if it's like a single flare smallest just means it's just gonna be a rare card and then boom again the same amount of cards in each pack and it's just full of contracts okay number two here and yeah um i think the rare is a silver because this is a non-rare. Is it a silver rare? Oh my god, man. Yeah, now you guys... I mean, you guys aren't surprised that it's always been a scam to open packs. Because, like... No, just don't open 7.5 case. I got a 1,000 FP left and, um... Wait. It's a big flare. Santi Cazola. Is that not a walkout? Wait, it was a walkout back in these days? Like, 87? It's worth 15k, actually. FIFA 18, man. My record is that... My, wait, is that my record? How have I not got a single draw? How did I not draw one game in the entire year? That's actually quite impressive. That must be a record. To not get one draw in over 600 games. That, actually, that's absolutely 600 games. Got 1,600 FP. And then I'm going to open these up. And... Oh, it was a fog. And then the side of it flashed up if it was a board or a walkout i forgot what the walkouts even are is, is it 87 or 86 and then this still looks to the assassin this was a this was the last year that it looked like this though i remember it looked like this for only this one year then at 19 it changed to what we know now after the pack is actually opened again give me a flash <sighs> not a single flash not even a come on come on <sighs> got one flare oh oh Nice. Now it's time for the World Cup packs. Let's go for coins. Let's go with coins here. Here we go. Now give me a board. Now give me a sideboard. Yes! Actually, I think every single one is a sideboard. Here we go. Board. Germany. Royce. Dratzler. Oh, God. Dratzler is only a cam. He can't be a left mid. That's against, the, that's, it's against the law. I will not stop until I get a walkout. Board. Yes. One flare. Not the best. Yes. It's coming home. Is that McGuire? Uh, Come on. Uh, Schmeichel. Is that a walkout? Is that... It's a walkout! Come on! Oh, 19. The glory is my sweat. Yes, look at that team. I did not go outside. Actually, I did, but that was only to drink alcohol and... Yeah, drink alcohol. I was not a healthy man back in this time period. For many reasons, as you can quite clearly tell. Look at my team back in these days it wasn't even like that easy to get like this team as well i just properly sweated the game i've got nothing in my account so i need to open up spc gold upgrades I, I, i've got nothing left i forgot this this was the ring oh the ring so the ea sports logo at the bottom it flashed up like it was lit if it was a walkout i think this is one of my favorite ones as well 17 i think 17 is my favorite but this is probably a close second because when you saw that ea logo and it's like lit it was just mad because we saw it was like, yes, yes, yes. And then the ring flashes in like, let's say blue. You know, you know it's blue for team of the year, whatever, right? So you see it lit up. You're like, yes, okay. And then you see, then you wait for the ring. And when you see it in a different color, then you go off. That was a, a perfect balance because it was, it was in a tunnel, but it was fast enough that you can get hype. And you could tell 
around now that like opening packs became much more of like a, a big deal. Back probably in, in 18. Can we get something here? Oh my god, it's a board. We've got a board. Croatia. Oh, I'm sick and tired of these Croatian goalkeepers, man. Here we go. It's tunnel time, baby. It's tunnel time. This was the first, like, wow. So you got the, the tunnel here, and each line had a different thing. It was a bit more slower. The lights on the top, one flashed a little bit extra if you knew it was a walkout. Like, there was so much in this animation about it. Like, there was, like, you could tell when you enter it if it was going to be a walkout because there was a certain element of how slow you enter the tunnel. Like, it's a bit more slower and kind of zooms out a little bit if it's a walkout. There was so much into this animation that, people don't actually realize. So if it's a walkout, I remembered it so well that the actual card like face itself was a bit brighter to the top left of it. People don't, people take 20 for granted in terms of the actual pack animation. So this is a FIFA 21 pack opening here and these FIFAs now just kind of blend into one now I feel like. What even was this animation? Oh, it was the lights and then the, the lights to the left hand side didn't light up, therefore it's a walkout. Who's this? Oh, it was a team this season, so this is me opening these packs last year. Yeah, I mean, this this looks so similar now to what we have now. Like, I, I just, I don't get as excited for these, like, yo, this animation, because it, it it feels so similar to what we have already now. Let's see what we get here. I'm curious. Okay, so obviously it's a blue. It lights out, and of course, this had different meanings as well, so like the tip of it had a different kind of blue, which means team this season, and it's just an Edison. Yeah, I'm getting terrible flashbacks to getting non-stop goalkeepers the entire time. And now we're on this year. We've made it all the way to this day of age. And the packs look a bit more different. They're a bit more open now. And in animation, there's no tunnel. It's just instant boom. There you go. You can tell by the flames, the flames. So if it's all flames at the same time, it's at 88 plus. If it's at 86 plus, it's like the three flames, but at different times. And of course... And of course, this is this year's animation, which is pretty much the, the same thing to what we have now. Very similar vibe. And the packs look pretty similar to what we already have now. The kind of same sort of theme to it. That is the history of the pack animations. Tell me down below what is your favorite and who's the best card you've ever packed in a tradable pack on FIFA history. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time for another video. And stay safe.